Today we're talking about circle graphs. This is at the end of chapter 7. So we're going to cover it and then we're going to start tomorrow, chapter 8. Circle graphs, okay, you've seen them before, either on the news or in your book. I've used them as examples before just so you'll know what they look like. It, it's a graph. They use it to represent certain data. All right, most of the time it's when they talk about voting. 44% of the vote went this way and 20%. And so you can kind of see how much actually went to this person versus that person. That's, the news uses circle graphs a lot. What you need to know about circle graphs is the percents in a circle graph add up to 100. Right? Always add up to 100. You also need to know that a circle is 360 degrees. Right. So draw this and write out the question. So there's 152 middle school students were surveyed. All right, this is the results. 41% like Dr. Pepper, 31% like Sprite, 6% like Coke, and 22% like Pepsi. And you can kind of see the majority like Dr. Pepper. Right? It's the it's 41%, but it's also the largest section of that circle. And it, it helps you to see with your eyes who how many people like Dr. Pepper, like the percentage, how what was the popular one? Okay. Now, when it asks how many like Dr. Pepper best, okay, they give you the percentage and tell you that 41%. Does that tell me how many students? 41 students like Dr. Pepper? No. Okay, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the part. They're, or they're giving us the percentage and they're giving us the whole. So to find part, we take uh, 0.41, we change 41% to a decimal and we times it by 152. To find part, we take the percent times the whole. If you remember that formula. So I take 0.41 times 152. When I do that, I get 62.3. But can I have 0.3 of a student? No. So what we do is we round. 62 students like Dr. Pepper the most, or the best. All right? All right, how many like Pepsi best? Now what percentage, <coughs> excuse me, what percentage of students liked Pepsi? 22. So I take 0.22 and I times it by my total number of students. My percent times my whole gives me my part, which 0.22 of 152 gives me this, 33.4, which I would round off 33 students like Pepsi. All right, how many, <coughs> excuse me, how many like Coke best? So what percentage of the students like Coke? 0.6? It's 6%, which is I change it to a decimal, it's 0.06. Don't get that confused. 6% is 0.06. Times that with 152, and I get 9.1, which I'm just going to round to 9. 9 students. Now, if you did this for every <coughs> drink, what would they add up to? 152. Okay, if they don't, then you did something wrong. Any questions? Yeah. How many more students like Dr. Pepper than Coke? So how many students like Dr. Pepper? What, what does it say? What would you write down? 62. How many like Dr. Pepper, or how many like Coke? Nine. So we're trying to figure out how many more students like Dr. Pepper than Coke. So 62 minus 9 is... 53. So 53 more students like Dr. Pepper than Coke. Any questions? Easy enough, right? All right, what you need to do is copy this down. All right, another thing you're going to have to do, okay, the problems before was interpreting a circle graph, answering questions based on a circle graph. Now it's going to ask you to construct a circle graph. Now we're going to we're going to figure out the, the percentages and how many degrees that each each part needs to be for a circle. Uh, when you're doing it on your homework, I don't need you to be as precise. Okay, it needs to be roughly or kind of close to what it needs to be. All right, uh, but it doesn't have to be 
exact. I don't need you measuring out the degrees of the circle and getting it perfect. Okay, it just needs to be close. Now, if one, let's say uh, pizza was 75% and you made it worth a lot less than spaghetti, okay, then I would I want that something like that. No, I won't take something like that. But if you have it close to what it would be, I'm fine with that. It doesn't need to be exact. First thing we need to do is figure out how many total people voted. Because to find the decimal and the degrees for pizza and spaghetti and hamburgers, you have to figure out how many total people voted. You add up 45, 21, 19, 9, and 15, you get 109. To find the decimal, okay, instead of writing percentage there, I wrote decimal, okay, because you got to use that decimal to find degrees. Uh, I take my part divided by my whole, and that gives me my percentage or my decimal. So to find what percentage of pizza is preferred, I take 45 and I divide it by 109. When I do that, I get 0.413. Okay, 0.413, which is 41.3%. But I leave it as a decimal for right now. Okay. Then I do spaghetti. So I take 21, divide that by 109, and I get 19 point, or 0.193. Nineteen divided by hundred nine is point one seven four. Nine divided by one hundred nine point oh eight three, and fifteen divided by one hundred nine is point one three seven, one three eight. All right. Any questions at this? So we found out the percentage. Pizza was 41.3%. Spaghetti was 19.3%. Hamburgers, 17.4%. Tacos is 8%. And other was 13%, almost 14%. Now we need to find out how many degrees of that, of that circle is pizza. So what I do is I take my, my decimal, 0.413, and I times it by, can you guess what number I'm going to times this by? 360. So 0.413 times 360, I'm finding out what 41.3% of 360 is. It's 148.7. 148.7. I know it's kind of hard to see, sorry. 148.7. So I take my my decimal times my de my 360 and I get my degrees. So I do that with spaghetti, 0.193, I times that with 360, I get 69.5 degrees. 0.174 times 360, I get 62.6 degrees. So hamburger is slightly smaller than Spaghetti. Then I do tacos. 0 0.083, 8 times 360 gives me 29.9% or degrees. Sorry, 29.9 degrees. And then others. So 0 0.138 times 360, and I get 49.7 degrees. Any questions? Now, if I was to add up 148.7 and 69.5, add all these up, what should I get? 360. If you're a little off, like 361 or 359, is that close enough? Yeah. Yes. You'll probably be a little over because you rounded up on some of these. Uh, they're not exact, so it won't come out to exactly 360 degrees, but it needs to be close. If you got 375, then you probably did something wrong, right? Or 340, you did something wrong. All right? Then we're going to use this data to construct a circle graph. So 
when they give you something like this, like votes, what you want to do is find out what percentage it is, and then you can make a circle graph out of it. So let's draw a circle graph. So draw a big circle. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not asking for a lot. Then you're going to add pizza and hamburgers and spaghetti. What percentage of this circle should be pizza? What did it say? What did you write down? 41, right? 41.3, if I remember right. Okay, now, remember, a line right down the middle is what percentage? 50. Is this going to be smaller or larger than 50? Smaller, it's 41. So, I'm going to draw less than 40. I'm going to put it right about there doesn't have to be exactly the 190 degrees or whatever it's supposed to be. I'm not worried about that. I, I'm just trying to get it close. Okay, so, and then I label it. Pizza, it's at 41.3%. Then I do, what's next? Spaghetti. What percentage of spaghetti? 19, almost 20%. So I'm going to draw up. Right there, spaghetti, and it's 19 point what? 19.3 percent. Hamburger was what percent? 17.9. Okay, now is this going to be larger than spaghetti or smaller than spaghetti? Small. Smaller. So I'm going to make it like that. Okay, it, it just needs to kind of look smaller. Okay, does that kind of look smaller? Mm, maybe. Okay, I'm going to say it is. It's 17.4%. Then what's left? Taco and others, right? How much was tacos? Nine, eight. What was it exactly? Eight point three percent. Eight point three. Okay, so um, I'm gonna say about right there. Tacos. Eight point. What was it, Beagle? Three. Three. And then other. And that was what? Thirteen percent. Yeah. Thirteen point eight. Point eight percent. Does that look? Does other look smaller than hamburgers? Yeah. Is it larger than tacos? Yes. All right? So as long as it looks close. Pizza is the largest one. It was 41%. Is that the largest one on this circle graph? Yes. Okay, spaghetti needs to be the next largest. Hamburger needs to be next. Other than taco. In that order. All right? This is good enough for me. Again, you don't have to measure out the degrees and make it perfect. Uh, just draw a circle graph that represents the data closely. All right? Here's your assignment. 